Hello everybody, it's Peter the Rock. It's uh, Sunday the 26th of May. I'm on the Bath Road approaching Maidenhead. There's a sign the other side of the road that says Maidenhead. And I'm on a, a road bridge, but I don't want to just show you that. There is the Thames sweeping round to the right or to the east. And here is the Thames sweeping south. Now, about 200 yards away, you can see the little footbridge that I uh, crossed, I uh, was about to cross in the, the end of the previous video, that was uh, sorted out by a chap called Bill. Can't remember, oh, Bill Davis, I think it was. And it goes to the, that island. Now, my attempts to go to the island were thwarted by the fact that they've closed the gate at the island end um, when the birds are, um, what do they call it? Um, uh, mating or something, I can't remember now. Anyway, th there's this magnificent edifice right on the Thames called the Thames Riviera Hotel. I, like, I love the, uh, the Riviera bit, uh, but I'm not going in there because I'm still exploring aspects of Maidenhead, the Thames, and Brunel's Bridge. Now, we can see a bit of Brunel's Bridge peeping out from behind the island here. And I want to get a bit closer. It, the, the span of each arch is 123 feet, I've just read, which is the longest brick span of any brick-built bridge. Uh, it was at the time, probably is still now. So magnificent feat to Mr. Brunel. Well done, that man. Uh, now, uh, according to the maps I've seen, which are not that good, uh, they, they, they don't particularly encourage tourists around here, but that's fine. Um, there's a, a road behind these houses on what I suppose is the east bank, possibly the south bank, the sun's up there, so the sun's in the west. So that would be the south-west bank of the Thames. There's a road going along behind them called River Road. And apparently that is a route to get closer to the famous Brunel Bridge, which is what I want to do. Um, so this is just an orient... <laughs> orienting is that the word? orienting a video to show around there goes a train how exciting in fact it's gone very quickly um, but uh, of course this is the main route this is the bath road now it's not it must have been the main route to the west before the m4 was built um, hello uh, i i actually remember uh, the m4 being built because i used to work in reading when the M4 only got n nearly to Reading. So I used to go, I used to work in Reading during the week. Go back uh, to my, I was uh, still living with my parents then. Uh, go back to my parents at the weekend by getting a lift with Will, fellow Will, if you're still around, who would drive up towards where the M4 started, which was somewhere around Maidenhead from memory and uh, marvelling at this big new motorway. Now, of course, it's really quite an old motorway, but uh, it was exciting at the time. Uh, there was a time coming back, because we used to make the return journey Sunday night, and uh, meet Will at um, a, a junction on the north, where well, the North Circular met, um, uh, well, went, went down towards the... Uh, the M4 and one time he didn't turn up and it was getting later and later and later so I ended up having to hitch uh, down to um, the, the uh, M4 I then hitched along the M4 I, I, I remember I did get a driver who'd been drinking quite a bit unfortunately but by this time I was fairly desperate i had been hanging around hours for a lift and uh, I got a the driver was only going as far as Heathrow, so he dropped me at Heathrow. Um, I uh, found somewhere in the departure or arrivals lounge to rest my bones for a few hours and then hitched 
to work and made it to work about five minutes after nine on a Monday. So not bad going. But uh, that's been the story of my life, really. Uh, if things go wrong, I can often repair the damage more by luck than judgment. It's a lovely day in Reading. Um, I, I know it's, it would be, perhaps it is a lovely day in Reading, but I haven't been made in there. Sorry about that. Uh, and uh, the highlight for me is the Brunel Bridge, and I hope to see it a bit closer. So there we are, a bit of orient orienting, and uh, let's see what we can see in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching. Speed of the Rockets, Sunday, 26th of May. Cheers. Like and subscribe.